talk specifically about getting out of sitting today. Now he's already able to do this, but for little ones that can't, this could look different ways. It could look that they're not a great sitter yet, which happens. Um, he actually became an independent sitter later, but we weren't working on it a lot. Um, hi, are you wanting to do something else? We just need to do this for a little bit longer. Um, or they're a really good sitter, but they don't move once they're in sitting. Um, so you want to take a toy, get them engaged with it. Um, I kind of have my hands around him partially because I'm trying to keep him still, but if he wasn't a great sitter, you could also do this. And then you slowly move it away so they have to reach outside their base of support for it. Um, and a lot of times what you'll see is it kind of becomes a collapse. And that is okay. That uncontrolled movement is so important for them to develop the control. You want to make sure that they're safe, but that slight fall is how their body starts to take feedback and figure out what muscles to turn on to develop the control. So, hi, 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 hi. Can you just finish this really quick? So again, you can start close. You can move it further away. He goes right into hands and knees now, but um, a lot of times you'll see them just go onto their belly to get to the toy. So those are just some ideas for working on getting out of sitting. Say bye.